Hey guys, Solo Skywalker 01 back yet again for another product review or Tony Kowalski, whichever you prefer. Now, um, as you all know, there are early showings of Rogue One, a Star Wars story tonight, and Rogue One officially comes out in theaters tomorrow. Now, I unfortunately, I'm not seeing it tomorrow. I'm, I'm seeing it in about a week and a half or so. Um, uh, you know, the Monday after Christmas with my father. So that's very exciting. Now, the product review I'm doing right now, it's not Star Wars, okay? But I will be doing a product review tomorrow in honor of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Because you know me. I always got to keep up on Star Wars. So, whatever I got to do tomorrow, I'll put it aside. I'm going to do a product review. Alright? So, what I have right here. Alright, so this is a 2016 Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice Armored Batman Helmet. Okay, now, obviously, if you take a look at this, it's literally just a toy. Alright, not a collector's piece, nothing more. Probably maybe a Halloween prop, and that's it. Alright, now, I got this mask just to have a little fun with it. I didn't get this mask because I wanted to put it in a collection or anything like that. I got this mask specifically just to have a little fun with it. Now, I'm going to go over um, where I got it and stuff like that, like I did in my recent uh, product fuse. I got this at Walmart for about $20, and you can also get it on Amazon for the same price, and maybe if you find a really good deal, maybe even $15. But you're, you're probably going to more so find this around $20. Now, um, I have a lot of dislikes about this thing, okay? Now, I will also be showing you guys or telling you guys how you could also kind of make this a better kind of thing. Okay, so first off, it does come with a voice changer. It is a voice changer helmet. Um, now, you have this giant speaker in the center of the forehead. That's obviously one dislike, because, I mean, who isn't annoyed by that, okay? Now, one thing you could probably do to fix that is maybe put a piece of cloth over it, maybe kind of the same shade of gray, and maybe kind of try and make it blend in with the rest of the helmet. Um, try and make it look a bit more natural. I mean, because it's just really, just really awkward when you're... Okay, I have the helmet on. All right. I mean, it covers a big portion of the head, you know? So, uh, next dislike. This thing is much too wide. Now, this is a kid's toy, and this is, it feels like it's meant for an adult-sized head. My head being with, uh, as skinny as it is, all right, you can see right through it. The sides, you got the eye holes, okay? If I turn my head this way, you can see right through it. Same with the other side. You're, you're gonna need to have a very wide head in order for this to actually look good, okay? Now, I understand it's a kid's toy, but I mean, it's poorly manufactured, it's poorly put together. Um, you know, you, you got, yeah, you got some battle designs, or you got some scratches, battle stuff right there, all right? The nose is much too pointy, okay? Now, one thing that drives me insane is why make it yellow? This button, okay? This, uh, this, uh, this button activates the voice changer, okay? This is the on switch for the voice changer. This activates the voice changer. Now, the voice changer is much better than the Kylo Ren voice changer because there's not much muffling, okay? This part isn't covered, so you're able to speak plus at the same time, um, you're able to hear them clearly. So, um, right here, okay, as you can see, right there, that's where the uh, voice changer stuff is going to come out. So, when you speak into here, and it's going to come out here. So, I'm going to demonstrate for you that for you guys, alright? So, I'm going to put the helmet on. Now, when you want to activate the voice changer, it will sound off with a phrase from the movie. Well, not from the movie, but... Alright, so this is how it is. Alright, now it's very awkward 
Alright, now, I don't know if you can hear me clearly. I don't know if you could hear me clearly then, but um, it's really awkward when these eyes only light up when you're talking. I wish that they stayed lit the entire time, okay? Now, obviously, nose piece comes with the nose piece, all right? Um, now, unfortunately, there is not much good about this thing. All right. Yeah, sure, kids are going to like it. But it's definitely not... I did not buy this, like I said, to have in a collection. I bought this just to have a little fun with it, okay? Maybe a Halloween costume. Maybe to play around, you know? But I mean, definitely not something that I would want to just put on a shelf and be like, hey, look at my, you know, Batman mask. Now, things you could do to make this better. I could probably think of a million ways to make this thing better. I'm just saying. First off, I would probably start with painting this, uh, the same shade of gray that the helmet is, um, just to make it kind of look better. I mean, because it's just really... It aggravates me. You know, because this side, it's normal, but then you got this side, and it, it's, there's yellow. Um, uh... I mean, you can't really do much with it, you know? But I mean, like I said, put a piece of fabric over here, maybe the same shade of uh, gray, um, maybe color this or paint it or spray it with the same shade of gray. Um, you got you got the head, you got the head adjusters in the back um, with the height and the length of your head. So it comes with a good, it comes with a good adjustment, okay? Adjust it to your head size. Perfect fit, good fit. It's just that it looks pretty awkward if you have a very narrow head, which I do. If you have a if you have a you know wider head, you know it may possibly look better. Um, but I mean, like I said, it, it's just it's just a kid's toy, you know. I ca I can't really complain about it much because I mean, if it's a kid's toy, you know, you're not gonna see good quality, you know. Like with the, with the lightsabers that I have upstairs, you know the. Um, blade builders you know they're not perfect but they still do look cool now this was made by pardon me I if I could see it so this was made by the company Mattel I've never actually heard of that before uh, made in China but I mean, yeah, that, it's basically that. I mean, it's just a helmet. Nothing that I would brag about. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go around people saying, "Hey, I got, I got, a, I got an armored Batman mask that has a voice changer." You know, it's just something that I would, you know, hang up on a wall or something like that. Put a, you know, if you have a door hanger, which is what I do, I have a door hanger and I just slide this on top of my door and it just kind of hangs there like this. And, you know, just kind of a prop, you know, a Batman helmet on the wall, you know? So, I mean, I could do that, but, I mean, it's not something that I'd put on my collection shelf. So, anyway, that concludes this product review. Okay, now I'm going to go into um, a little preview of my next product review. So, like I said, tomorrow, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story comes out. Okay, I'm super excited for that. It's the moment of 2016 that I've been waiting for. Um, it's what a, it, what a time to be alive. Seriously, you, got, you, you had The Force Awakens last year, you had Rogue One this year, and I'm, now next year you got Episode Eight. And I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm enjoying life as it is right now, because it's just, it, it's a Star Wars filled life here now. But anyway, so, I don't have much Star Wars things to review, but I do have a book, okay? So, this past summer, I, uh, I received a book from my aunt, and it was The Empire Striketh Back. Now, I would have reviewed this book much sooner, but I wanted to finish reading it before I actually reviewed it to you guys. So I finished reading it about a couple days ago, and I want to review it to you guys to do a full-on, flat-out review. Now, I enjoyed the book. It was, it was nice. It's read as it's a script. So, like, let's say it's, it's kind of like a script, but it's all in Shakespearean. 
So it's 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 a very interesting book. So in honor of Rogue One, okay, I will be doing that product review tomorrow. For that is the last Star Wars item in my house right now that I have not reviewed yet. Um, but Christmas time is coming around, so I'll have more time and I'll have more things to do um, and review. Anyway. Thank you guys for joining me once again. If you have any questions, comments, concerns uh, about the helmet, just uh, ask me in the comments. Um, now, I want you guys to tell me if you would like me to do one of my product reviews live, because I can now do that. Um, so, if you want me to do one of my product reviews live so you guys can ask me questions as I'm reviewing it, um, I would love to do that because I think that's a cool idea. You know, I could I could review the product. Plus, you guys can ask me questions while I'm doing it. So, um, thank you guys for joining me. This is Tony Kowalski signing off. May the force be with you. And until we meet again, take care of yourselves.